Hello everybody, welcome back to Fail Project Games. I'm just checking around to see if I've got any new, uh, or which of the statuettes I should have said I can place right at this moment. So I know I found two of them. There you go. Cross circle. Oh, yeah. This has. Whoa. What is in here? Whoa! Dang! Did I have two or did I have three? Yeah, there's four, you know, pillars. No, that's examined. Damn, I only have two. Dang, that's a nice little gift. Put a fucking statue on a pedestal to get 2,000 florins. Salute, Claudia. Our uncle is un mostro. This is outrageous. What's happened? He's making me work. If father was here, I'd never be stuck behind a desk like this. And what are the terms of this supposed enslavement? Since someone decided we're going to stay here, Tio Mario suggested we try and find the money to repair the villa. Problem is, there isn't any. I bet I can bring in some money. Oh, great. More work for me. Well, benissimo. If you start paying for improvements to the town, I'll keep track of them in this book. And since I have nothing better to do, I'll also make note of any objects you bring in from the outside. If you actually get this place up and running, travelers might visit and spend money. Although I doubt anyone will want to come this far out of the city. But if they do, I'll keep the money we make in this chest. You're going to have to show up to take it to the bank yourself. Because when it gets full, I'm just going to take the extra cash for myself. Capito? Deal. Mm. Wow. Okay. So I get a total of 169 florins every 20 minutes right now. Nice. See if we can boost that. What do we got? Oh shoot! All feathers, all in the chest. All shock to all shock to all three. All our invasions are getting bigger. All my last character are all serious and cool. Alright, I'm just going to say. Alright, I'm just going to say. Okay. Most of the villas in Kona are chosen next to her. Come off and collect money from this chest. Nice! One job. There's something wrong. Yes, sir, Mario hired me to deal with this mess, but I'm an architecto, not a miracle worker. Without money, I can't fix any of these buildings. And if someone brought you money? Hey, then we'd be in business. Hey, you must be Serenzio. Am I right? Uncle, I like this architecto. He gets very observant when he can spell money. If you want to fix up this town, I'm going to need it. I have a price list here for new shops and renovations. Just bring me gold, make a choice, and I'll begin at once. If I build you a shop, you, as the landlord, can purchase goods there at lower rates. If you invest more money in the shop, you get an even greater discount. As for renovations, well, you'll be bringing the town and villa back to life. As Sir Mario tells me, that was very important to your great-great-grandfather. Plus, when you buy shops and renovations, you'll be increasing the number of people who visit, causing hey, your income to increase. So, let's take a look, shall we? There we go. Finally shut his mouth. Woo! Art merchant. This work sells paintings. Wherever in this shop will be done. Increase the city's
Let's see, which is the least costly right now? I will do something if it is uncostly. Let's see, that's 1,000. And that's 1,000. This will be a more useful year than I can collect shit and I can, like, uh, get bonuses or something from what I saw on the thing. Claudia had. From what I understand. Inside the church, but not outside. Oh shit. Yeah, I'm okay. Give me your money. It went in my pocket. Dip shit. No! Oh, 
311. I think there's something else hidden along the walls. No! Shit. Next time on Fail Project Games. Later!